Hello and welcome to another episode of Maximum Paw. And today I'm very excited to bring you Poetics Revolution Case for the Motorola Moto G Play 2023. Let's take a look at it. This case retails for $16.95, which means that clearly some corners had to be cut around here, right? Usually most companies either skimp on quality materials, most companies skimp on advertisement, quality control, features, something. They skimp on something. Poetic chose to skimp out on their packaging. You know why? Because... Aside from looking at the packaging, this is the very first time that I'm opening the box, I'm never gonna look at this again, and I'm probably gonna toss it out. In the box, we get a very, very rugged case with a built-in polycarbonate screen protector, as well as a polycarbonate back for those abrasions so that your phone will not get shredded to heck. And we also have a thermoplastic polyurethane sides and corners for that impact absorption so that when your phone does get slammed, when your phone does get dropped on the ground, it will not rattle, it will at least be protected and some of that energy will be absorbed so your phone doesn't break and or crack. What sets this apart from the majority of other cases is again, for $16.95, we have a full solution protection program where we're gonna have not only the screen be protected but also the rest of the body. And then we're gonna simply apply it by putting it over our existing device, like so. And then we put it into the case, like so. And now we have a device that is again completely covered and protected from head to toe with our poetic case. And again, this case comes in at 60. And again, this case comes in at $16.95. This case not only is a very, very rugged case, we also happen to have a kickstand so that we can go ahead and position our case to be laid out vertically, or we could also do a horizontal position as well. And when we're done, we simply slide this back down, click it in, and we're done. Now, I love having cases on my devices, but what I can't stand is the fact that very often whenever I have a rugged case, my phone feels gimped. My phone feels... Uh, like it's inhibited, like it has a straight jacket on, like it has a very hard time doing the most basic things, such as adjusting the volume, turning the volume up or down, or turning your screen on and off. Whenever I have a case like this, those buttons are so stiff, they're impossible to press, but that's not the case here. Poetic, haha, case, get it, went out of their way, just so that you could have very easily pressable buttons so that your phone doesn't feel gimped so that again you still feel in control of your phone because again very very often again yeah your phone's going to be nice and protected but then it's impossible to press the buttons you can't even hold it in your hand the thing is ginormous you it's it's really hard to handle but again i feel that poetic really did a good job by going out of their way and making your buttons be clicky and as accessible as they possibly could be now a lot of the consumers that tend to purchase motorola phones or other rugged phones in general or rugged cases in general tend to have very heavy or industrial jobs that happen to have debris all around them and you know what's the first thing to go the ports both the charging port and the auxiliary port happen to be one of the very first things to go on the majority of consumers phones but guess what we have flaps that are now covering these ports okay these are flaps that will when you know when out of use they will cover up the device they will cover up the ports so that debris is not able to get in there because the very first thing to go again is usually a charging or an auxiliary port and usually with everything being soldered down now nothing be modular once a charging port goes the whole phone goes. Once an auxiliary port goes, the whole phone goes. There is no more repairing, there is no more replacing. 
which is sad, but at least we can mitigate some of that with these flaps that we have on this case. And another thing that Poetic does that I feel goes such a long, long way is they go out of their way to make sure that the cutouts that are laid out in the device are individual. What do I mean by that? We have an individual cutout for the camera lens and the selfie. We have an individual cutout for our light sensor. And we have two individual cutouts for our speaker grills up here for our earpiece. So none of this feels sloppy. The majority of manufacturers would have just gone with one big sloppy cutout, which would have been efficient. It would have been quick. It would have saved money. However, it doesn't look good on the end product. Poetic goes out of the way. They do their best to make sure that, again, this is a premium product. This looks like a tailor-made product. This looks like something that was custom-made and custom-shaped. You know, we appreciate that. And it definitely goes such a long, long way. And on the same token, what if you don't like the built-in polycarbonate screen protector because it is polycarbonate? It's soft to a degree. You know, it's it's not glass. It's not hard. Per se, it's it's relatively soft material and it definitely does scratch easily, especially when compared to other tougher, much harder materials, right? So in case this were to ever get scratched, in case you would ever become tired of this, or in case you don't want anything coming in between you and your phone. Let's say you love the feeling of bare glass. Let's say you just like having your fingers all over your screen and you literally don't want anything coming in between you and your precious screen. Well, that's where Poetic and in their infinite wisdom thought of that. And they went ahead and they included a secondary faceplate in the package. Yes, for that same $16.95, there is no additional cost to this, right? So an additional faceplate is provided with nothing in between there. So you can simply grab your device, slap on your case, or at least the first part of the case like so. And then the second part of the case, you slap it in there. Like so, and again, now you have a foam that is protected from head to toe. And in addition to that, you either can choose to have, again, nothing coming between your phone to where you can enjoy the feeling of a glass against your fingers, or you can go ahead and install your very own tempered glass screen protector. As you can see, we have more than enough space. We have more than enough room along all the edges, okay? Your tempered glass will not get in the way, or this case will not get in the way of your tempered glass here. For, for that matter, I have an iPhone 13. I have it with the Revolution case as well. Now, my kickstand has broken because I have abuses very much, but maybe so you guys can appreciate, I have a tempered glass screen protector, and it is not in the way of my device. Okay, I'm able to use this case just fine. All right, this is a very, very nice case and I just wanted my device to be protected just a little bit more. All right, and there you have it. You're gonna have a beautiful case, very nicely protected with or without that built-in polycarbonate screen protector. All right, now go ahead and let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on this case? Would you recommend other cases that are in similar price range? Or if you know of a case that's under 20 bucks that offers similar features I'd love to check it out. And as always, thanks for watching.